Hi everyone, welcome to the Mentor Jessica channel. My name's Jessica and I am your guide on this exciting journey. So on this channel, I dive into the world of living a meat-based lifestyle, exploring recipes as well as nutritional tips, and sharing the incredible benefits I've personally experienced. But that's not all. I'm also sharing my story with hypothyroidism and shedding light on this journey to wellness. So if you want to peek into my health adventures, hit that subscribe button and join our community. Hello, and thank you for joining me for week 31 on carnivore. Today in our video, I have five things that we're going to be going over. First, we're going to be going over my garlic powder introduction and how that actually went. I was able to get a decent weekend this week on that. The second thing we're going to be going talking about is my schedule this week, my schedule, girl's schedule. Everything was out of whack and what went on there. Then we're going to go over my goals. What goals did I meet this week? as well as my results. How are my results from last week to this week, as well as my results since I've started carnivore in July. And then the last thing we're going to cover has to do what I'm doing in February. So what, what I'm changing up, what I'm, what I'm starting, what, and we'll get to that. All right, my garlic powder introduction and how that went. So this is the second week of testing out the garlic powder and I was doing smaller amounts and I was noticing each day that I had garlic powder, small amount for one meal, I would end up having a runny nose, starting to get a cough. And so I stopped because uh, I was noticing it within 30 minutes to an hour. So stop that. So it's looking like I'm not going to be able to have garlic powder for a while. So nothing that I'm reintroducing so far this week. I need time to think about it because that was sad that I, I'm sad about that, not being able to uh, introduce that. And that could have been part of the reason I was so sick the other week. And then this week's schedules. My schedule is normally off there when there's a fifth week of the month or a certain day lands on the fifth week of the month. I have my meetings are all different. And so my schedule was different, but then I wasn't prepared for my daughter's schedules to be different and for it to start warming up. And we're at the point like worried that the uh, ski resort might end up closing because we're losing so much snow because it's been so warm. And my daughters were like, they wanna get out there and get snowboarding. We haven't had decent snowboarding weather. Like the resort, there was either, it was, it wasn't enough snow. Then we get 20, over 25 inches of snow and freezing cold, it was so cold that they couldn't stay open. So because they had to worry about people being on the lifts, if something happened, the lifts were shut down for safety reasons. So there haven't been very many days that the weather was decent enough to get there or that they were open. And this week, like the snow is going, uh, my, my yard is almost completely completely green again. It's, I love that part of it. This is very unusual, but my daughters, I got them out so they could go snowboarding and get snowboarding and get on the hill. So that messed up some schedules and some plans. And I was planning on doing some meetings and some meetings that I did have people were sick and canceled and having to reschedule. So I, it's just been a crazy week uh, with us running around and I think we had some we were going somewhere almost every day and I am not the type of person that has I don't have my vehicle leaving my garage every day so this week was very unusual for for us 
and then my boyfriend was back and we usually don't have more than a day or two with him and he's gone on another job and he's been around for a couple days. I'm like, this is like so crazy. Like, I'm getting my days mixed up. Not sure what day it is. And like checking to see like, it, it, is, to, is, is it a weekend or is it a weekday? So it's throwing me off, which takes me into my goals and how difficult it was to accomplish my goals this week. I didn't have quite as much motivation. I was worried more about my scheduling, where we were going, because we were leaving and going different places than we normally did. And their work schedules were changed. And it was at the point we had so much free time and we didn't have our normal structure. I didn't meet a single one of my goals this week. I, I came close to hitting my move goal, but um, I was, if, if I would have hit my move goal one more day, I would have met that goal, but I didn't sauna at all this week. And that's something that I usually prioritize, but I had meetings that needed to be on, on the road and early in the morning. And I wasn't planning on getting up an extra hour or two early to get in the sauna before taking a shower. And I kept telling myself, I'll do it later. And later never came. Well, later came, but I can get in the sauna. So I didn't meet any of my goals this week, which really uh, <laughs> made it difficult for me to really stay motivated. And I, I didn't have, I didn't have my movement in, I didn't have my exercise ring closed. So just all in all, my motivation was not there this week. And I could, I could feel it. I didn't have the motivation and didn't have, uh, didn't want to get up in the morning. I just didn't feel like doing anything. And so <laughs> it made me realize how important that is, especially when I'm looking at this week just was, it wasn't a week where I, I didn't have any motivation. I'm looking at my goals going, I didn't get as much movement in. I didn't get my exercise in. I, this, this is why I didn't have the motivation, right? So since I didn't have a whole lot of motivation, I was really wondering what my results were going to be this week because this week was just off and then I had stress on top of it. So this week I wasn't expecting a whole lot and I'm glad I wasn't expecting a whole lot. There was movement though. Now as far as inches, I did gain 0.3 inches, but I lost 0.6 pounds. So there's that fluctuation, that little bit of fluctuation, I'm not too worried about. Again, the the, the day before weigh-in, I, I was extremely, extremely stressed. I, um, I'm not going to go into that because it was just all complete drama with my ex. And I'm not going to go into that. But my nerves were just completely shot. And that affected me majorly. I had pretty much three days of my nerves and being on edge. So I, and stress definitely affects me big time. So when I saw these numbers, I was actually shocked. They didn't skyrocket up because stress has been a major thing as far as my weight goes. So that's my results for this week. Now, since different people want to know, like, how, how has it been since July, since this is my over 30 weeks, 31 weeks, since, so since July, my results, I have lost 9.9 .9 inches, yay, and I have lost 10.8 pounds. So I am happy with those results. I am feeling better as I'm introducing different foods uh, after going through the autoimmune protocol to help with my thyroid. I do have my um, thyroid test will be uh, on its way to test again to see how things have been going since I started introducing more foods other than just the meat, salt, and water. So. I'm excited to see what those results are and hopefully those numbers are stay where I want them. All right, now for February. What am I doing? 
I am going to be keeping a closer journal. Now, I was tracking my food and then tracking like if I had any reactions or digestive reactions and I was trying to think through different things. Now I am writing down, because I do better if I write it down, and it helps hold me more accountable of how badly do I really need to eat if I have to write it down. So it does help me if I actually write it down, journal it versus putting it in an app. So I am documenting what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, any reactions I have, any digestive upsets I have, and then hopefully I can go back and see some of those reactions and even like my mood and energy levels. I'm going to be tracking that. Let's see. Did I have much movement? Was I exercising? What, what time was all of this happening? To see if some of it has to do with my food intake and if having to do with my food doesn't change things, I'll look into other things, but one thing at a time. So I'm tracking more and I, I have it set up on a, like a, a line item and I'm tracking, I track what time I get up in the morning and I'm, I'm not doing so great on tracking what time I go to sleep, but I need to do a better job at that. So I have a better idea of how, how that's affecting me. Because I know when I sleep, I have my watch on when I, my Apple watch on when I sleep. So I, I know the times that I'm asleep and how good of sleep that I'm getting. I am, I am not getting up usually in the middle of the night unless I had a whole lot of water before going to bed and needing to go to the bathroom. Other than that, I'm not tossing and turning. I, I don't, I don't have issues as far as that goes. I think I might need to be getting more sleep and might need to be winding down a little bit earlier and getting starting my nighttime routine a little bit earlier and getting into a better routine. But some of that has to do with what time I'm eating as well, uh, my later meals and how hungry I really am. So I'm tracking a little bit more than I have in the past for February. And we'll see what I find out as I'm tracking this information. All right, well, I will be doing a live this Thursday, so I hope to see you there, and we'll see you next week for the next update.